Hey guys, what's up? Lewin here at GarageBand and beyond. So what you're about to watch is just a short version of an original song of mine where I went around and I recorded a bunch of different things using both an Shure SM57 and this awesome Copperphone microphone right here by Placid Audio. If you don't know what a Copperphone is, this is what a copper phone is. It's sort of a, you know, older 20th century recording style microphone made in modern day and a super cool thing. But anyway, I'm not going to talk too much. Enjoy the music and I'll be back at the end. She's riding on a freight train. She's riding on a freight train. She's riding on a freight train to see her love down in Tennessee. about being a friend Whoa. and all of the plans somewhere down that gravel road they watched her unravel from that heavy load and now she's doing all these things that all they see is that she's riding on She can't afford a bus ride It's too dangerous to hitchhike She's riding on a freight train To see her love down in She can't afford a bus ride It's too dangerous to hitchhike She's riding on a freight train To see her love down in Tennessee She's riding on a freight train To see her love down in Tennessee Yeah, she's riding on a freight train To see her love All right, so that should have been a good example of what the copper phone sounds like on a bunch of different sources. I use the Shure SM57 just because this is, you know, the most common microphone that you find in every recording studio. Everybody's got a 57, so it's a nice sort of staple standard sound you all should know. Um, but the Placid Audio thing is so really cool. Definitely check it out on their website, placidaudio.com, for all the nitty gritty details. Um, all the pricing and stuff like that is on the website. It's actually very affordable, I think, for what a cool and unique and hand-built microphone that it is. Um, obviously, this is a sound that a lot of us use in the studio. It's a very desirable sound, and I think I think hands down, if you're going to use this instead of like when I have used this and EQ'd it to sound like this, it's never sounded as good as this sounds. And it's almost funny to call this sound good, but since it is a sound that we have, you know, that we're aiming for a lot in the recording process, um, to have something where you can just plug it in and right into the box, it sounds 
like exactly what you want it to sound like. You know what I mean? You don't have to sit there and EQ it and throw effects up on it. And that takes time and all that kind of stuff. Nice thing about this thing is you can just set it up wherever you want, you know, whatever you're recording, just set it up. And uh, then you have it there all the time. Worth mentioning that Nora Jones has used this microphone on some recordings. So, you know, it has a nice pedigree to it. It's got a little bit of uh, notoriety under its belt. So that's cool. Um, but anyway, you know, very interesting microphone, very unique sounding clearly. And I would definitely recommend this if you're looking for something that you, you've, you know, like one of those guys, you got like one of everything. This is a very, very fun thing to have in your studio. Um, now, since here I am, it's sort of getting close to the end of the video where I'm sure a lot of people <laughs> have clicked away. So I'm just going to tell the ones of you who stuck it out till the end that I do sales on some of the equipment that I review, as much of it as I can. I have a mailing list on my website called garagebandandbeyond.com. And uh, if you go to the website, you can sign up on the mailing list. Uh, you get a free little thing. And uh, basically, that entitles you to the discounts that I negotiate with the companies. Um, you know, after I get these products to review and check them out, I'm like, wow, this is something that I really think my viewers would enjoy owning. So I work out discounts whenever I can. And so if you're on the mailing list, you'll get a discount on this thing. All right, you guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the review and I hope that you guys are having a great holiday season so far. And um, if you have any questions and comments, please leave them below. And of course, please check out all these different videos that I have made over the many years that I've been here on GarageBand and beyond on YouTube. Um, there's like 240 something videos, I think. So check out all these videos, subscribe to the channel, blah, 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 blah. Have a great day. Peace.